I mean, it's a big reason for me doing anything with you. I remember when I wrote any song or made any like stupid video, you used to be so encouraging and excited about it. And then eventually we started doing things together. And I think if you were not there, I don't, I don't think I would have had the confidence to keep doing more things because for a long period of time, my motivation was I get to like spend time with you and we do something fun and then you will like it and we will look mm. at it and yeah yeah and then eventually it started getting traction <laughs> i mean after seven years <laughs> but, but uh, man i see that's why i think i disagree with you right i mean okay. yeah i was an awesome friend and everything but um <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> um i'm not gonna like discredit that but True. um True. you were bound to reach where you are because yeah you put in the work i mean um i don't uh you were an extremely hard working person but it wasn't just your hard working you were so different uh i mean there are people who are unique but you were just so um crazy i mean i can't even explain it uh and i think i don't know if you kind of sobered down now but i just remember when you were a kid you were yeah. just all over the place have you sobered down or cuz i mean we don't meet in person that often nowadays so i really yeah, don't know but you're right do you think i mean you kind of do you think you I kind of toned have, down but but I, i i think the reason that happened is because i finally found an outlet for it which was stand up and youtube yeah. and instagram so yeah it's a it's i also thank you so much for saying all those nice things but i think when the lockdown happened that's when i realized oh my god i need that outlet because i was getting yeah. frustrated that i can't act stupid and crazy anymore on stage uh, yeah. so it's actually a blessing like it re- really fits in well with uh who i am <laughs> yeah. but i've definitely sobered down dude oh my god remember yeah. we, i used to do improv in bangalore and yeah. the constant feedback i got was two things don't run around so much and slow the fuck down and i was like okay yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean it's crazy dude like uh i was going through my emails like wait like, like the long oh, back oh yeah uh, they used to send emails to each other yeah and you were so in character when you used to send me these emails i think you were in character of this uh african american <laughs> rapper kind of persona going on oh, like you would be like yo jay dog and this is just an email right i mean just a normal email and you would yeah. still be in this wacky character sending me these emails and i'll be like who does this right yeah even navin said that in in one episode he was like you make you do something out of every situation and that's kind of help with my stand up because i'm constantly getting practice hey if listening to one along podcast is in your thing this is the perfect channel for you Please subscribe for more such short recordings of me talking alone or with my friends and how can i not say it like share and subscribe thank you